Tonight, students in Gloucester say they were given a tough choice if they wanted to join the nationwide walkout against gun violence. That's right. The kids at Gloucester High say they were required to write an essay first or they would get a detention. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. I was angry that kids are dying every day and we're still going around playing this charade. Gloucester High School students are busy writing essays about the National Walkout Day many of these students like Alexander Oakes and Daniel Denman participated in. I'm walking out because I'm sick of feeling like I have more patience, tolerance and ambition than those who are deciding our laws. But unlike the nationwide protests against gun violence, the essays are not a voluntary assignment. The high school made it a requirement for the students who decided to leave school. If they don't write one, the school would mark each student down as an unexcused absence leading to detention. So we knew we were going to have to be proactive in figuring out how to turn this into a learning experience. Mm -hmm. Principal James Cook wants his students to use their civil acts of disobedience for something positive. Oakes, who spoke at Gloucester's walkout, writes how the experience enlightened his view about his classmates. To show, you know, um, the, com the country as a whole that, you know, young people are engaged, we're paying attention, and we're actively invested in, you know, um, the laws that govern us. About 250 Gloucester students participated in the 17-minute national walkout. Principal Cook says the reflections he read are so powerful that he now plans to share them with students, faculty, and parents to let them know that lessons outside the classroom can be just as effective as inside. They took it very seriously, and these are skills that they can transfer to, you know, the real world. It really made kids reflect on their future and what they wanted for their schools. In Gloucester, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.